Welcome back, everyone, as we pick up right where we left off with this 100-question history quiz. We did the first 51 yesterday because I was getting so into it, I didn't realize that we had already gone to the 51st question, so we'll be doing the last 49 today. The link is down in the description if you want to check out the first half of this quiz, but it's not necessary uh, in order to get enjoyment from this one. Uh, same rules apply. I'm going to let the timer go down, and right before he gives the answer, I'll pause, give my answer, and then if it's a topic I know something about, try to elaborate a little bit on that. So let's go ahead and dive into this one. Midway was a significant naval battle during which war? World War II, World War I, or the Vietnam War? So I feel like this is one that a lot of folks would know. Midway is a battle in World War II. It's fought in the early part of the war, the first full year of the war for the U.S. Uh, and a lot of people point to it as a turning point in the war in the Pacific. And I guess, technically speaking, you could say that's the case because from that point on, the U.S. is mostly on the offensive rather than the defensive. Uh, but I would argue that long term, it probably didn't change the outcome of the war so much as sped up the outcome of the war in the Pacific uh, because of the devastating nature of losing four carriers for the Japanese Navy. Um, so but but as far as a shift from defensive to almost exclusively offensive operations for the Americans, yeah, it's certainly a turning point. And that was in World War Two. Who was the ancient Greek philosopher known for being the teacher of Plato? Was it Aristotle, Socrates, mm. or Pythagoras? I'm not really good with my Greek history, but I feel like this has to be Aristotle. And it was Socrates. Oh, I'm terrible with these. The first successful test of an atomic bomb, known as the Trinity Test, took place in which year? 1940, 42, or 45? It's 1945, and uh, it's amazing how quickly we go from the first successful test to the actual deployment of the bomb. It's just, it, it's a matter of weeks. Uh, this was such a rushed thing that they were trying to get this thing deployed as quickly as they could to the point where we really didn't have the material available to make a whole bunch of these bombs, but wanted the Japanese to think that they were available. So after the second one was dropped, there might have been one more in the coming weeks, but that would have been about it because the the time and effort it took to produce enough u uranium or plutonium for these bombs. And that was in 1945. The Thirty Years' War was primarily a conflict between which two religious groups? Catholics and Protestants, Christians and Muslims, or Buddhists and Christians. This is one of the bloodiest wars in European history, and this happens in the aftermath of the Protestant Reformations, Catholics and Protestants. The answer is Catholics and Protestants. Which of these was not a member of the Warsaw Pact? Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, or East Germany? So this is tough, because I... I feel like all three of them were, but I guess one of them wasn't. So the Warsaw Pact is uh, the the communist, uh, the Eastern European Soviet Union bloc. Uh, it's their answer to NATO. Uh, and so it's, it's the sphere of influence for the Soviet Union uh, and their buffer states. Uh, so I feel like, I mean, East Germany had to have been. Yugoslavia... Uh, I'm really torn on this one because I feel I, I thought all three of them were, but I'm going to go with Czechoslovakia. The answer? Yugoslavia. Oh, it was Yugoslavia. So uh, neither Czechoslovakia or Yugoslavia exist anymore as a nation. They were both countries when I was a kid. Uh, so it was East Germany for that matter. So none of those three countries exist anymore. In 1944, Klaus von Steifenberg led a plot to assassinate who? Stalin, Churchill or Hitler? So Stauffenberg is played by Tom Cruise in the movie Valkyrie, which is a really good movie. Um, so it's a, the, the July 22nd plot to assassinate Hitler. The correct answer is Hitler. When did the Mexican Revolution start? In 1945, 1930, or 1910? We actually just talked about this in the first episode. Uh, and it's got to be 1910. And it started in 1910. Name the campaign launched by the Chinese government in the late 1950s to rapidly transform China. And resulted in the 100-year plan, 
the Long March Revolution, or the Great Leap Forward. Resulted in the deaths of millions of people very famously, it's the Great Leap Forward. And it was the Great Leap Forward, which British General surrendered to George Washington at Yorktown. Was it Cornwallis, Gage or Clinton? So this is another one of those ones you could technically make an argument isn't true. It's Cornwallis is the answer. Um, Clinton was his immediate superior back in New York City that was supposed to come to his aid and didn't. But, but Cornwallis conveniently found himself indisposed that day, and so he actually didn't attend the, the surrender ceremony. It was his second-in-command, Charles O'Hara, who actually surrendered and didn't surrender to Washington then because Washington then passed it off to General Lincoln, who had surrendered to the British a few years earlier uh, in the Southern Campaign. So uh, O'Hara then has the dubious distinction as being the only general in history who has surrendered to both George Washington and then later to Napoleon Bonaparte. And it was Cornwallis. What are the Olmecs best known for creating? The numeral zero, written language, or huge stone heads? Are the Olmecs the ones that made the huge stone heads on Easter Island? Part of me thinks that it's going to be the numeral zero, but I'm going to go with hewn stone heads. And they're known for creating huge stone heads. Oh, not not Which Easter of these Island countries did not fight in the Crimean War? Russia, France, or Germany? Well, Russia definitely did. Uh, I don't think Germany did. I think Russia, France, the UK uh, were all involved in this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Germany. Germany didn't exist as a country yet in the 1850s when this war was fought. And the answer is Germany. What country was Idi Amin military dictator of? Botswana, Uganda or Somalia? Fairly certain on this one that it's Uganda. And the answer, Uganda. What was the first civilization of China? Ooh. Was it the Tong, Wei or Shang Dynasty? I really don't know the answer to this one, um, and hopefully we'll study up on my Chinese history before uh, take a group trip to China, hopefully sometime in 2025 or early 2026 that's going to happen. Uh, pretty excited about that. Going to go Shang? I don't know, I'm guessing. And the correct answer is the Shang Dynasty. Who wrote the 95 Theses against the Catholic Church? Was that Martin Luther, Leonardo da Vinci, or Pope Pius III? Martin Luther, but almost certainly did not nail it to the door of the Wittenberg church. Uh, and, and he was hoping to reform the church, not break away and start his own denomination or anything like that. And it was Martin Luther who preceded Fidel Castro as mm. the leader of Cuba. Was it Noriega, Pinochet or Batista? So Manuel Noriega is in... Panama, I think, and that was later. Augustus Pinochet, I feel like, is not Cuba. I think it's got to be Batista. And it was Batista. How did Marie Antoinette die? Guillotined, poisoned apple, or horse riding accident? So I'm not familiar with anyone dying of poisoned apple. Um, well, I guess... Uh, uh, who's the the guy who helped invent the computer? The um, the guy from uh, Alan Turing. He died from a poisoned apple. Um, Marie Antoinette was guillotined. Uh, horse riding accident. I can think of. I, I feel like one of the uh, sisters of Richard the Third and Edward the Fourth might have died from a horse riding accident, or somebody in their family. And the answer: she was guillotined. What type of government ruled Italy during World War II? A fascist, communist, or democracy? Fascist. They kind of, I mean, they kind of invented fascism. I mean, it's really the first major power that becomes fascist. Uh, Mussolini is the fascist dictator, but they still have a king uh, on top of that. The answer, fascist. 
In what year was the Cuban Missile Crisis? Was it in 1959, 62 or 65? So this is another one of those ones like I talked about yesterday that you can deduct if you know enough other information, even if you don't know when the Cuban Missile Crisis happened, which I think was October of 62. Uh, because if you know John F. Kennedy was president, and he was president from 61 to 63, only one of these dates falls under Kennedy's presidency. 59, you have Eisenhower's president, and 65, LBJ is president. It was in 1962. What country did General Noriega run ah, in the 1980s? We already answered this one. Panama, Sierra Leone, or Cambodia? The U.S. sent in uh, a little minor invasion to go grab Noriega. Uh, I think, was that? I guess that would have still been during Reagan's presidency. It's Panama. And the answer is Panama. What European country temporarily moved its seat of government to the New World in 1808? France, Spain, or Portugal? All right, so I'm trying to remember this. This is Napoleonic War, so it's definitely not France. I think it's got to be Portugal moved their government to Brazil. And that was Portugal. Montezuma II was an emperor of which empire? The Aztec, Ottoman, or Akkadian? So Ottoman, obviously, is Turkey and the surrounding areas. Akkadians uh, are more are kind of like the Middle East. Aztecs, that's Montezuma. And the answer, the Aztec Empire. Who published his three laws about planetary motion in the early 1600s? Copernicus, Kepler, or Newton? I mean, so I know that Newton has a lot of laws like around thermodynamics and things like that. But I feel like this one's Kepler. And that was Kepler. Who crowned Napoleon Emperor of France in December 1804? Was that the Pope, his wife, or Napoleon himself? So the Pope was present for this, but Napoleon did crown himself. However, it wasn't like this thing that was completely off the cuff and Napoleon just grabbed it out of the Pope's hand. This was planned ahead of time and I believe the Pope knew that this was planned, uh, that Napoleon was going to do this. It was calculated. And the answer, he did it himself. Which president of South Africa announced Nelson Mandela's release from prison? Was it Zuma, the clerk or Bota? Only one of those names sounds familiar to me, so I'm going to say de clerk. And it was the clerk. Which was the first European nation to reach Japan? Was it France, Spain or Portugal? I don't know the details of this and I don't know why I think this, but I'm pretty sure again I'm going to say Portugal. And it was Portugal. That's just one of those ones where like that little bit of information is somewhere in the back of my mind. I don't know how or when I acquired it, but it just felt like the right answer. St. Patrick's Day originated in which European country? In Ireland, Germany or Belgium? So this is uh, Ireland. St. Patrick's Day goes way back before Germany or Belgium even existed as nations. Uh, St. Patrick himself was not... Irish. He was uh, a, a, he was from England, uh, what well, became England. There was no England at the time, and he was of Roman uh, descent. He was like a Romano Briton, um, but he becomes a patron saint of Ireland. And the answer is Ireland. Which African leader made a famous pilgrimage to Mecca, showcasing his empire's enormous wealth? Was it Mansa Musa, Shaka Zulu, or Haile Selassie? All right, so again, this falls in the category of I don't know why I know this. I mean, I can rule out Shaka Zulu. He uh, he was not an enormously wealthy guy that would have traveled to Mecca. Uh, pretty sure this is Mansa Musa. And it was Mansa Musa. In which city were the notorious Jack the Ripper murders? In Birmingham, Edinburgh, or London? 
So this is specifically, this is 1888. This is the Whitechapel District of Greater London, which is just to the east of the city of London itself. It's right in the area around where the, uh, the Tower of London is and Tower Bridge. They're both right there real close to Whitechapel, but it's, it's London. And they were in London. Fiefdoms played a significant role in the social structure of which? Ancient Greece, feudal Europe, or imperial China? Feudal the Europe. The answer is feudal Europe. What did the Luddites protest against? Industrialization, agricultural practices, or artistic movements? I feel like I know this, or I should know this, but. And I'm familiar with the Luddites, but oh gosh, it's I'm drawing a blank. Industrialization. They protested against industrialization. Who was the captain of the Titanic when it sank? James Tiberius Archibald Kirk. Haddock, James Tiberius Kirk or Edward Smith. <laughs> so very famously played by uh, the recently deceased Bernard Hill, a uh, great actor in uh, the movie Titanic, uh, Edward Smith. Uh, Smith was the guy, he was like the guy, right, uh, for the White Star Line, which is the uh, company that owned the Titanic and ran it. Uh, he was the guy that took out their new ships. He was their most experienced and prestigious captain. He's at retirement age. Uh, and so since this is Titanic's maiden voyage, he was going to take her out and then he was going to go back to retirement after that. Uh, he wasn't going to continue on as captain of the Titanic. Unfortunately, he goes down with the ship. There's some stories, though, that he may have actually, like most people, survived the, the initial sinking. Because most people didn't like go down with the ship. They were in the water alive immediately after it sank. The water was so cold, it was like 28 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, that most people probably died within a half hour or so. Um, and, and there were reports of him coming up alongside one of the lifeboats uh, and people trying to pull him in but he wouldn't allow them to do that and the answer Edward Smith which was known for its extensive road network including the famous Appian Way the Persian Inca or Roman Empire so I actually walked to the Appian Way a couple of months ago when I was in Rome really really cool place to walk uh, that's where a lot of the tombs are because there was a law in the Roman Empire that you couldn't have tombs inside the city limits. And so a lot of wealthy families had their tombs along the Appian Way, along, uh, including like the Scipios. Um, so you, you walk along there and you see the remnants of a lot of those tombs. But yeah, it's Rome. And the answer, the Roman Empire. In 1494, what did Pope Alexander VI divide between Spain and Portugal? Did he divide Madrid, Europe or the world? Technically, none of those are true. I mean, it was the New World. He he basically there was the line of demarcation, and uh, and it was uh, this is how Brazil ended up Portuguese, and everything west of that line ended up being Spanish in South America. And he divided the world. What is the period of Napoleon's return to power in 1815 known as the Hundred Days, the Great Return, or the French Revival? The Great Return sounds cool, but it's the Hundred Days. And it's known as the Hundred Days. What Lord Chancellor of England was executed for not accepting Henry VIII as the head of the church? Thomas Beckett, Thomas Wolsey, or Sir Thomas More? So Beckett was Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, this is centuries before Henry VIII, though. Thomas Wolsey was a cardinal, was uh, Archbishop of York, I think. Um and had been a, a close confidant and friend and, and run the country on behalf of Henry VIII, but it's Sir, now Saint, Thomas More. Uh, my kids are descended from him uh, that very famously uh, would not accept Henry as head of the church. And he, on the scaffold, said, Tell the king I died his good servant, but God's first. He just could not acknowledge Henry as head of the church. And the answer, Sir Thomas More. Who was the last of the five good emperors? Hadrian, Antonius Pius, or Marcus Aurelius? Mm. 
I think all of them are among the five good emperors, but I want to say Marcus Aurelius is the last one. We're talking about the years, uh, it's the second century AD, so like between 100 and 200. Uh, I think it's got to be Marcus Aurelius. And the answer, Marcus Aurelius. The capital city of the Heian period in Japan is known today as what? Tokyo, mm. Kyoto, or Nagasaki? I don't remember Nagasaki ever being a capital. I think Kyoto was, though. And the answer, Kyoto. Which European architectural style featuring pointed arches and ribbed vaults emerged during the Middle Ages? Baroque, Renaissance, or Gothic? I think that's Gothic. And the answer is Gothic. I, I learned a lot of that stuff like in Western Civilization class in college, but I don't really remember much of it now. Did Ferdinand Magellan set off with on his trip around the world? Oof. One, five, or nine? I have no idea. And I know that's one. not how you say his name in Portuguese or American, but that's the British way. So we say Magellan in, in American English. Uh, five? The correct answer is five. Total guess. Known for his antisepsis system, who was the pioneer of antiseptic surgery? Joseph Lister, Louis Pasteur, or Alexander Fleming? So it wasn't Fleming the guy who wrote uh, James Bond? Um, pastures with, like, pasteurization. Uh, it's Lister. The answer, Joseph Lister. That's where we get Listerine Which war from. war was also called the Great War. World War II... The American Revolutionary War or World War One? You don't get the this one. You haven't paid much attention to me. I literally have a channel about stories of the, the Great War, World, World War One. Who was the captain of the HMS Bounty during its infamous mutiny? Ah, is it James Cook, Francis Drake, or William Bly? We've talked about Cook already in this video, but it's Bly, definitely Bly. And it was William Bly. Which of these has never colonized the Philippines? Spain, the United States, or Netherlands? Well, uh, technically the United States didn't colonize it. We just took it from Spain. But I, I'd say that still counts. I, it's got to be the Netherlands. And the answer, Netherlands. Which pope moved his headquarters from mm. Rome to France? Was it Clement V, Leo X, or Paul IV? Another stab in the dark here. I'm going to say Clement V. It was Clement V. I'm a good guesser. Which of these? See, some of these I'm, I'm I'm guessing because I don't know the answer and I don't know details about it. But for some reason, I'm sure it's one of those things that my mind has seen at some point in my life. And there's just a hint of enough of access to that information that that one jumps out at me. So it's a guess, but it's like a guess that's based on something I just can't tell you what. One of Christopher Columbus's ships, the Santa Maria, Santa Fe, or Pinta? Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Santa Fe is the answer. The answer, the Santa Fe. Who was China's first and only female emperor? Wang Yi, Yang Yi, or Wu Zetian? Well, the only one of those I've ever heard of is Wu Zetian. I didn't know it was a female, though, but that's, that's pretty cool. And it was Wu Zetian. Who is Temujin better known as? Ivan the Terrible, the Dalai Lama, or Genghis Khan? That's Genghis Khan. And the answer, Genghis Khan. Or Genghis or Chengis Khan, I guess would be the more proper way to say it. In the 1850s, what was discovered that brought people to Australia from all over the world? Gold, oil, or diamonds? Well, there's a, oh wait, there's an area in Australia known as the Gold Coast that I hear a lot about, so I feel like it's got to be gold. And the answer is gold. What always brings people places, either gold or oil usually. Who was the founder of the Ottoman Empire? Oh. Selim I, Osman I, or Sargon the Great? It's not Sargon, that goes back way further back. Than the Ottomans. I think it's Osman the first. 
And it was Osman the first. And listen, I that one there, uh, I'm a Cleveland Cavaliers basketball fan, and we had a Turkish player on our team named Jetty Osman for a long time. So I just knew that was a Turkish name, so that was a total guess too. All right, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. If there's another quiz game that you'd like me to take a look at sometime, let me know in the comment section below and let me know how you did. Um, I feel like I only missed maybe five or six of those hundred, but I didn't really keep track. I'm sure somebody did, so let me know. Thanks for watching.